Hello again, this is Lord Science speaking. I am here to teach you how to patch Trinity Core World of Warcraft private server repository stuffs with any patch you can find on the web, acweb.com. Uh, I think it's .org is a really great place. You can find patches on Trinity Core's website. The patches I'm going to be using are from my Git repository at git.realmsofwarcraft.com. You can sign up, gain access to, I believe I'm at 60 different patches now. They all work together, including Lord Cyanbots. Today we are going to patch Beastmaster, which is a cool little script. And I'm going to do it as quickly as possible and as easily as possible so everybody understands. I'm running Linux, Debian 8. I prefer it over Debian 9. Trinity Core recommends Debian 9. I recommend it too unless you're really good with Debian because CMake needs to be upgraded manually among other programs. Mine's already done and let's get started since you're just staring at the same exact screen for the past, I don't know, minute and a half I guess. All right, the first thing we have to do is we have to get the Trinity Core files. Now, of course, I already have them on my server. I'm running PuTTY, connecting to my dedicated server. It's a lot faster that way. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and clone a fresh copy of Trinity Core. You probably already know if you're running Linux that things are case sensitive. It's got to have a capital T, capital C. If not, you'll get errors. Always best to type it exactly if you see it on your screen or copy and paste it if you can. Uh, I already have a Trinity Core folder, so we're going to name a folder Trinity Core 335. Clone in here real quick. Trinity Core files are free. Anybody can grab them. I'm assuming your server is already set up. If not, you can check out my other video on how to set up Debian to clone and run Trinity Core servers. Alright, now that that's almost done, now there's one thing we have to make sure of. Trinity Core is, in my opinion, the best private server core out there. There are some others, uh, Azeroth core, I think Sunwell may still be out there. Of course, Mangos and Sea Mangos, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. They're also very good. I use Trinity Core because I know it. Uh, so, anyways, the, the problem with Trinity Core is most private servers are run at patch 335A, but when you grab Trinity Core, when you when you clone it, it comes in 7.2.5. So we have to change that. So the first thing we need to do is go into our folder and we need to get a list of all possible branches. That way we can check out the 335A one. So the, the command is simple. Get branch A will show you all of them. Now there's a lot of them in there. I guess now it's up to 7.3.2. Last I checked it was 7.2.5. Anyways, that's the master branch. We need to go to 3.3.5. Now, you don't have to worry about the remotes or the origin. All you have to do is remember the 3.3.5. The command is simple. Git checkout 3.3.5. Now we're at 3.3.5, so patching will not be an issue. So now we have to get the patches from my repository. Once again, the links will be down below if you need quick reference on where to find all this. But we need to clone it. I already have it on my server. So I'm going to make a new folder. LP patches. Uh, I'm going to clone this. It's going to ask for a username and password. 
No, I will not give you my username and password. But you can sign up real quickly by going to the website. It's a uh, very simple use it, to use. It it runs GitLab. I don't know if anybody's heard of this. If you haven't and you want to run your own Git server, that is the one to use. All right. Now that we have it, we need to copy all of the files that we want over into our freshly cloned Trinity Core. So we're going to go into our folder, and the first thing we need to do is see what's in there. LS is one of my favorite commands. LS dash L gets you a little bit more detail. What we need is the three point or three three five A pre patch. Now, if you clone to Luna, I do have a patch for that. It's a little bit outdated, but should still work. So we want to copy this. Sorry about the dinging. Putty does that when you're Windows. My typing is horrible today. Now we copied that one over. We also want to grab Beastmaster, which is a really, really cool patch. Um, it's database driven, but it's also C. It is in the current patches folder. And let me see if I can remember the name of it. There we go. I'm going to give it a quick rename not a big deal. Okay, now we're going to go back to our fresh Trinity Core server. You must use the pre-patch. Uh, too many times people have told me, oh, your patch doesn't work, it's broken, they didn't use the pre-patch. The pre-patch allows for all of my patches to work really nicely together. Now, it doesn't make any major changes, it just puts little spacers in so when it patches, you don't get errors. You could put the pre-patch in and compile Trinity Core all by itself with just the pre-patch. It'll run fine, it'll make no difference. But without the pre-patch, patches will error. So we're going to patch this first. You can use git apply, but I recommend not using git apply because it's extremely picky and gives you absolutely no information when it's done, I always use the patch command. This way you know what's going on, you know what's being patched, and if there's an error, it creates a nice little .rej file to tell you what errors. Here, there are no errors, so we're done with that. We can remove the pre-patch, not necessary. I recommend removing one when it's done, especially if you're going to patch a bunch of patches. Makes it easier to organize. Now we're going to patch the next one, which is the Beastmaster. It patched just fine. Remove the Beastmaster. And now it is patched. Now you could clone it. My, I'm sorry. Now you can compile it too many technical terms and it should run just fine there's a lot of database work that you have to do with Beastmaster or most of my other patches you can check out my database videos please subscribe please like love don't know what they're up to nowadays on this and thank you for watching